All right, y'all, so do you side with a man or woman in the case I'm about to present here, okay? I'm actually gonna side with the man on it, but uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say. So, this man and this woman, husband and wife, they're having a party. They've been married for a couple years, and uh, the guy's stepkid, her kid, you know, is there at the party. Everybody's having a good time or whatever, and he's giving relationship advice to some of their friends. And she comes over and says, uh, don't take relationship advice from him. And he says, thinks she's playing around and says, uh, um, well, it got me you, didn't it? And he gives her a kiss or whatever. And she says, the only reason you got me is because I was recently divorced, scared, and I had a kid. And basically he was a safe choice. And he, he goes silent, right? And I mean, I don't know. That would be so freaking devastating. Okay. But a couple of days later, she realizes how silent and how affected he is. And she tries apologizing. He said, I'll be okay. And then like two weeks later, uh, she's starting to get into panic because he will not talk to her. He won't do anything. She starts cooking his favorite foods, trying to do all the things that he likes, even goes so far as to have their, uh, kids go stay at her parents' house or their, his stepkid and her kid go stay at the parents' house. And then she takes him somewhere on that was important to them. And they go stay a couple nights there. And then when they come back, he goes to work, uh, for a couple days. He comes back as soon as he walks in the door, he said, uh, can you sit down on the couch for a second? Sits down and said, we're done. We're getting a divorce and she tried everything she begged uh him not to go she said i love you now i'm so sorry um blah 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 i actually side with the guy on this and i'm not not trying to be mean i understand everybody's situation would be different but the fact of the matter is and a lot of people are going to say no you work harder on a marriage to me that contract's null and void because she did not love him when she got into the relationship okay she saw safety she was panicked after her recent divorce being a stay-at-home mom with a single kid so she latched onto the first guy she didn't even love because he had money and could provide safety and that's what she did and admitted that's what she did and uh and so when he found out he's like oh you don't love me i don't want you then okay the only thing that gives me hesitation about uh ending the marriage and everything would be the kid how attached to him is the kid because it sounded like the other father wasn't in uh he's a father figure but the other real dad wasn't in the picture and so you kind of don't want to harm the kid but i'm also one who does not believe in parenting marriages i've seen four of them in my own life every single one of them have their kids horrible messes uh multiple divorces when they get older and all that stuff but that's a side subject this subject is do you agree with this guy for divorcing her she said she admitted she didn't love him she just chose him for safety and uh, to me, that would be about the only more devastating thing a woman could do is love me and then cheat on me, which to me means she never really loved me in the first place. But let me know what your thoughts are. I would definitely side with the guy on this. But uh, I understand everybody's got their own opinion. Look, we all know this. OK, and again, I always say this. You'd be surprised by the amount of men who think like how we think, move how we move, know what we know. Right. We know that the stepfathers wouldn't be able to get a lot of these women if they didn't have kids. We know this, but a lot of the men don't. So hearing it would be an absolute shock. And although, look, I've been consistent. I don't think people should get divorced unless, you know, it's for real serious stuff. Getting your feelings hurt. I can't sit up here and champion him getting divorced for that reason. But I, I totally understand why he'd feel away. So y'all, I'm on a date, right? And I ordered six different meals. And this man do not want to pay for my food. I don't know why. Tell me more. Why does he want you to pay for the bill? And I really didn't have the appetite for anything. He forced me to come to the restaurant. So now I'm here. I ordered six different dishes. Come again. Please tell us what you ordered while on this date. And I got jerk chicken. This one meal. I... I started um in at the Rasta Pasta. This is ridiculous. Who orders six different things from the menu? And I got me some oxtail too, but I also want me a fried snapper. And this like the pineapple bowl. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. If you want him to pay for six different dishes, how about you eat all six of them right in front of him so he can prove that you're not trying to feed your whole family? And that's his drink. That's my drink. I ain't really like that drink. And he got the two liquors. But y'all. Ma'am, you're not going on a date. Sound like you're trying to grocery shop. I can eat all I forgot to show y'all. I had got um, some fried green tomatoes and... So you turned a restaurant date into a buffet date? Wow, all you can eat, huh? He my little lady, you really can't eat. And I'm just like, you invited me out. Look, I've been consistent with this trade of thought. 
any woman who does anything like this doesn't like you. And that's, that's why she's doing it. Not only does she not like you, she's probably trying to test you to see how far she can actually go. Because if she liked or respected you, there's no, like, come on, like, let's be real. No one in their right mind is ordering six different meals. The food looks good, by the way. I can't lie. But nobody, like, that's crazy. I just don't want anyone about to her make the same mistakes as me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like... I know, it's just so weird. I'm saying this, yeah. It's because, like, when you look on Instagram with the lighting and the poses and the angles, like, it looks like I've got the perfect body, like, kind of, in some, in, like, some pictures, right? But that's not true because I'm not standing, like, unposed, naked, in front of you, like, for you to see, like, the issues. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what someone said to me at the very beginning when we started surgery? He said, the more surgery you get, the more surgery you get, yeah? The more surgery you get, the more surgery you get. Why is that? Because the more surgery you get, the more you're going to need to fix and undo all them previous fucking surgeries. I, mean, I know. Oh my God, if I could just only turn back time. I know. Um, all this money on surgery and I look like shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so sad, guys. Honestly, we can't explain it to you. If you can just tell any, like, if there's any young girls watching this, um, really, really think hard before you go for surgery. Is it something you really, really, really need? I ruined myself, yeah? yeah. Like, I look back at my first... When I was in, like, Mykonos, when me and you were Mykonos, what, like, four years ago? I don't know when it was, yeah? I'm laying sunbathing on my chest. I'm laying down and Anna's taking pictures of me from behind. And I've got this beautiful perky balm, smooth, no cellulite no scars and I have actually destroyed myself to the point like now I can't even walk around in a bikini without thinking everyone behind me is looking at these massive sticking out keloid scars I can't even sunbathe on my chest because I've got these massive scars dark black sticking out like I have actually destroyed myself. Like, I've destroyed myself. I don't want anyone else to make this mistake. I mean, I'm so desperate to yeah. find someone that could do something about my scars. Yeah. I'm more upset about the scars than my uneven, irregular hips. Me too. The scars are the, the worst, honestly. I mean, look, I'm not anti-surgery, obviously. I'm, I'm actually for surgery. If you really, really need it, it's something that's really affecting your confidence and you've done all the right research for it. Like, I wish I did more research. No, man. I've done so much research on that person that's destroyed my body, like scars and botchness. He was the best BBL surgeon. He destroyed me. And like, you know, when I went... To There's always a risk, guys. Exactly. All these people who get all these surgeries, they all have body dysmorphia. And you see it with women and you see it with men. But when you see it with men, I've spoken about this before and there are people who were agreeing with me in the comments because they've seen it. You see it in like the bodybuilding industry for men. These 14-year-olds are on steroids. And you're like, what? Like, you're 14. What are you doing on steroids? And you have all these women getting... It's all about self-confidence. And all these people with these body issues and whatever the case is, and these aren't people who are extremely overweight, for example. It makes sense if you're extremely overweight that you'd be self-conscious. You want to lose the weight or you're extremely underweight. It makes sense. These are normal, regular people. A lot of these people already look good. But mentally, they're messed up. And for me, from the outside looking in, I look at it and I look back to their parents. You know, were they getting that love? Were they getting that, that confidence boost from their parents? Their parents tell them, oh my God, you look good. You know, because a lot of this starts from a young age and I feel like it's up to us whether you have kids now or you're like me, you want to have kids one day to ensure that we boost the confidence of our kids so they don't get into a situation where they're looking at their nose and they think their nose is off. Oh, I want to get nose surgery. Or their lips are too thin. They want to get lip fillers or BBLs or any stupidness you see on the internet. I always get a kick when the males use single mom as an insult because what do you mean? You mean how I am supporting two kids, a dog and myself on one income in this economy? <laughs> you mean how I still look like this after having two children? You mean how I stay on top of everything? I work a full-time job. I have two side businesses. I maintain a home. I cook most of our meals. Our fridge is always stocked. Our bills are always paid. I always get the girls to their activities. I'm very involved with their school. I maintain my fitness and health. I get enough sleep. I have time for my friends. I have time to travel with my kids and I have time to read. You mean to tell me that I'm doing all of that while you're leaving hate comments on the internet and it's an insult?
Sounds like a lot of work. Must be why you come across so angry. Really? Because I don't know about you, but I am the hottest, healthiest, and wealthiest I've ever been without a man. So really, that's an insult to you, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not an insult to us at all. That <laughs> you're not on my level. You could not do half of what I do every single day, even once. There's no way. There's no way. So the next time you want to use single mom, single mother as an insult, please remember what single mothers are actually doing and see if you measure up because I would be willing to bet my house that you do not. These women with these great careers, right? They make a lot of money. They're doing so well. She's clearly not happy, you can tell by this video. But we think being a single mother is an indictment because how can you be doing so well in one aspect of your life? and so poorly in the other. It just shows us that you don't really pay attention or you didn't pay much attention to that aspect of your life. Because how can you be so wealthy? Oh, taking care of a dog, two girls, I don't know. But yet you can't even pick a man to start a family with. You can't even pick properly, you can't do that. You see the bar full of men sitting down, literally just watching women in heels stand up. Yes, why would I get up for you? Why would I get up for you? Fellas, we can't even sit down no more. We can't even fucking sit down no more. The only time I get up for a woman at an establishment is if she's pregnant or it's an old woman or an old man and just old people in general. I get, I'll get my seat up gladly. Or like I said, if you're pregnant. Other than that, why the fuck would I get out my seat because you're wearing fucking heels? Can you imagine going to the bar on your weekend? You just want to knock back a few drinks at the bar, enjoy yourself, just chill, right? And you see yourself on TikTok because you didn't want to give up to your seat to somebody behind you? <laughs> this shit has to stop. Man, the comments talking about times is changing. Times been changed. Chivalry is still here, but times have changed. Our grandmothers wasn't drinking Henny for fucking breakfast. Our grandmothers <laughs> weren't twerking at the brunch spots you know what i'm saying getting getting crop dusting everybody food you know what i'm saying we just gotta accept that certain things have changed bro i would love to do like a psychiatric evaluation on these women to understand how their mind works because women will tell you times have changed women will tell you women are no longer like the women back in the days right they aren't putting up with the same rhetoric they aren't doing this they aren't doing that but then they want us to be the same men, but only only when it benefits. I, I don't understand it. Honestly, I think it's one of the weirdest phenomenons. I do not recommend marriage and motherhood to any single childless woman at this point in time. And I say that as a happily married mother of two children. It is not. What do you say? Yeah, I'm saying like, I'm happily married. I'm like, my marriage is very happy. I love my husband but I wouldn't recommend it. Like, I'm ha I'm fantastic, but I'm just saying I wouldn't recommend it, though. Not safe for women in this country, nay, this world, to be in relationships with men and to have children. There are politicians who are actively trying to kill women by taking away their access to medically necessary care. They are letting women die on their watch and they don't care. Then they wanna take away no-fault divorce. They wanna keep you in your unhappy, unsafe marriages. My marriage isn't unhappy or unsafe. And I'm saying you could get a marriage like mine, but I'm saying don't do it though. I'm saying remain single because marriages are bad, except for mine, mine is good. You could get one like mine, but marriages are bad. So just stay single, that's what I'm saying. Forcing you to have more babies while they simultaneously take away more rights. What? <laughs> How could I no fault divorce? I'm sorry, I was so stupid. I I'm watching the, uh, the Tottenham game, Tottenham are losing. <laughs> they don't have a workforce that is set up to benefit you. They don't have paid leave that is set up to benefit you. Every system is actively working against women and mothers in this country. It is not beneficial for them. It is not safe for them. Women are dying because they are unable to receive medically necessary. I wonder what it must feel like to feel like this much of a victim. Like women are dying. The system was built against us. White women have it so tough. 
I wonder what that must feel like. Very care because we have people in charge who don't know what they're talking about, who want to make Project 2025 a reality. They want to keep you in the home. They want to keep you uneducated and they want to keep you making babies. Women are going to university at a higher rate than men. And that's not safe for women. I cannot in good conscience sit here and tell a woman that she should get married to a man and have children. I won't do it. Go to school, get your degree, make your money, travel the world, get a solid group of friends because this country isn't set up for women. It's going to take a long time. Oh my goodness gracious. This country isn't set up for women. Do you know what your country does to other countries so that you guys can be good? Do you, do you know what had to happen? For the working environment, for, for the technological advancements to happen so that women could enter the workplace? Do you know what had to happen? Of course you don't, because feminism doesn't teach us. Take a long time for the tide to turn to a point where they actually hear us and they listen to us. But it's not right now. The reward does not outweigh the risk. The odds aren't in your favor and the systems are actively stacked against you. Most married women are not happily married. Most married women are trapped. Most married women would not recommend it either. Most married women are just too afraid to outright say that. I'm not. But not you though, right? You're happily married. You're the, you're the exception, just like uh, Drew or Follow or whatever her name is, is the exception, right? All these women who hate men just happen to be in perfect relationships. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Come on, Brighton! Come on, Brighton! These fucking lily white pussies like It happened again It happened again Tottenham Hotspur It happened again This liquor got me get my zone Now I'm blowing up your phone Blowing we smoke in the ozone I just can't let this go This liquor got me get my zone Now I'm blowing up your phone